Hi guys, I'm Marie here from Worcester, Western Cape, South Africa. Uh, I am recording from my very small little wannabe shop um, that's in, at my house. And um, it is the 28th of May. And I don't know what time it is. I think it's about just after three o'clock, half past four. So yeah, welcome to all returning viewers. Thank you for watching my podcast. I really appreciate it. <laughs> and welcome to all new viewers. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, please press, click on the subscribe button and the like button. Um, it's just up there, you'll see it. Okay, so that's my hellos. Um, if you want to find me on social media, you will find me on A Cup of Yarn on Instagram. You will also find me as A Cup of Yarn on Facebook. Also, you will find me as um, I love 73 on Ravelry and I have a podcast, uh, not a podcast, <laughs> a Ravelry group and uh, it's called My Yarn Runneth Over. I'll talk to you about that in a minute. You will find me there. Um, this podcast is about yarn dyeing and knitting and sewing and yeah. That sort of thing. Fibers related stuff. So yeah, uh, welcome again. Uh, the oh, announcement, the one announcement I do have is please remember that I am currently running a make along on my yarn runneth over on the group. For some reason it's very quiet over there. I have two finished objects that I can put up. But I haven't because I don't want to take the show over. So I don't want to put stuff up and then I win my own prizes. So please um, add whatever you want to. The theme of the, of the whole make-along is natural fibers only. I'm actually going to talk about that quite a bit today. Um, natural fibers only and keep it local at the same time. So if not local in your area necessarily, but local in your country, keep it local to your country. Uh, try as far as possible to stay away from imported stuff. Um, if you can buy something um, or support your, your local, your country, do that. Okay, so that's the make along. The prizes, yes, I have prizes. I do. Ooh, they're actually right in front of me, or they were. Tell me. Prizes will be one of these at least. And I know it's one of the project bags, but I think I moved that to that side already again. So it will be one of these, and there will be a project bag added. That was here, somewhere. Anyway, it just moved away. But if you want to see what that will look like, I will put that up on my Facebook page again. And um, I've also got some knitting needles. That's part of the from of the um, yeah. If you when you get one of those, <laughs> okay. So that's admin wise. Want to just what I wanted to say. There's nothing else. If I start sounding like I'm doing like rushing over things this is still a standard um youtube channel i'm still trying to figure out how to if i can become like uh, when it starts being to the point where i can podcast for an hour um i'm not exactly sure and i don't get all the answers that i need so i don't know um just for those of you who don't know I live right across from the N1. The N1 is one of our main roads in South Africa. It's a national road. So 
it's big and it's noisy and I have three dogs and ever yeah one of them just barks for his own shadow if he doesn't have another choice so um, there's nothing else to bark at he'll bark at himself then um, so there's a lot of noise coming from that side that I really can't do anything about I've already got all the um, everything closed up so can't do anything more about that sorry so if the noise is there not, not much I can do about it okay so what am I wearing I'm wearing my liner shawl the one I knitted up for myself and I'm really glad that I'm wearing it oh and I'm also wearing a top um what's the top the pattern wait what pattern yeah I bought this pattern for free online from It is the. It's from Tasiti. Uh, Tasiti, I think. And um, it's the Mandy Boat Tea. But I will I will put the link down below. It's really a nice tea shirt. Yeah, Tasiti.com from Australia. It's a blog spot. They have a lot of very very nice patterns, but. This particular one, I'll show you what it looks like. I'll try and show. Please. See, see. Looks like this. And then it has this like flare here at the back. And yeah, that's what it looks like. And for me, that's ideal because I layer. It's cold here. By the way, hallelujah. Praise God. We are so grateful. It has started raining. <laughs> And as I, if you followed the podcast before, you would know we have had severe drought. I mean, it's been three years since I've seen this much water. <laughs> really, three to four years actually that I've seen water in the, um, just on our way to, to Rawsonville from Worcester. If you don't know South Africa, Worcester is the southern part of South Africa. That's the, it's already on the su southern part of South Africa. So it's between. Um, it's not near n close to the city yet. It's still a rural area. But you know, you drive over a mountain, you get to, to Cape Town. Actually, you, you get to Paul first, and Wellington, and Cape Town. And <laughs> anyway, on our way there, there's this like. Uh, Flayland, I don't know, I can't remember what you call it in English right now. Sorry. <laughs> but, um, let me just remember that word. It's almost like a marsh. That's the other word for Flayland, I know. Anyway, but there's a lot of water there now, and there hasn't been for years. We haven't seen water there literally for years. So, yes, we're very grateful only thing about that it's cold so underneath this I'm, I'm wearing the skirt that I made but the skirt was made of a pattern of sorts it was just made from an old skirt that I had um, so I've got like a, a t-shirt underneath of two t-shirts and this and it's still a bit chilly but that's okay it's it's not winter winter yet it's still autumn um, we are very grateful, really just grateful for the cold and the weather and the what I mean. Okay, so I'm just going to take a sip of tea. And every now and again, when Stoffel, which is my doggy that loves barking at himself, is yapping on that side, I might just automatically go like this. <laughs> That's just saying. So, anyway. What am I drinking? I am drinking robust tea. Which for anybody who's not of South Africa, I've seen quite a lot of people overseas drinking rooibos tea. And that sounded kind of exciting because rooibos tea is indigenous to my country. <laughs> you won't get rooibos tea any other place than in South Africa. Unless somebody is taking it and growing it somewhere else. But uh, rooibos tea is indigenous to South Africa. I love it. Anyway, <laughs> rooibos tea and milk 
and honey because I need honey right now. Just a quick explanation for why I haven't been here in two weeks. I ended up getting like a Epsi sap thingy here and it's better. It's still there. <laughs> and um, I looked like a chipmunk. Uh, well, like a chipmunk with all its food on one side. <sighs> I wasn't planning on doing anything on a video with that sort of idea. And I also, I just wasn't feeling very well because of it. So I'm just, just trying to move this camera so that it takes, you know, some sort of logical shape. Okay, so let's move on to finished objects. Only real finished object knit-wise that I can show is this, but... This is the first sweater that I've ever knit. I have learned a couple of things. One of them is that I will never ever, ever, ever knit another sweater that I had to seam up. It, I'm not good at seaming, I don't do it neatly and it just looks terrible. So my next one up is top down in the round. Honestly, I'll tell you about that now, but this is how it came out. It's, I ripped out the sleeves here because the whole seaming of the sleeves, nothing came out right with it. I don't know. I just, yeah, never mind. It just didn't work out. And I, I ripped out the sleeves. Oh, and the whole, it was too short. It ended right there. And I don't know, it was just a weird length. On my body, I, I'm sure on most other people's bodies it wouldn't be, but on my body that was short. Because it's not really cropped, but it's not really long enough. It's like right on my belly button. No, just, just past my belly button and that was just a weird length for me. I am quite short to start with, but not petite. I'm just short. <laughs> so, yeah, anyway. So I did this mostly with my own hand dyed yarns, except these, this was some of, of Beatrix yarns I still had left and I knew I wasn't going to have enough yarn, so I did that. And then um, I finished it with a lace, lace edge and pico binding. The pico binding I will probably rip off at some point and just give it a normal bind off because I don't like this. But uh, well, I tried it and it, it's okay to wear you know, around my house or if I have to go to the mall very quickly and it keeps me warm. So I'm not complaining about it. It's okay. Came out all right. I don't want to even talk about the seaming. I don't, I, that, I don't want to talk about it. Oh, by the way, here in the background you will see a knitting machine, which I'm going to take back. Um, I got it from my mother-in-law. I got a quite a few knitting machines from her. I think four. Um, and I was going to give them away to somebody who uses it. And I thought, okay, let's just try one of them. Not working. Not working at all. Okay, so this is done. This is my FO, other than my top that I did make. That um, I made. Only thing I don't really like about this sort of setup that's here is because I am quite big busted to start with. It just makes me look bigger. But then if you look at me from the front, it doesn't matter. It's just if I turn or something like that. But I think also it's the fabric. Oh, guys, this is a horrible fabric. I sewed this up quite quickly. It's a very easy pattern. I have to say that. It's very easy. I mean, it's just... But this was the only fabric I could find at my local fabric shop that was supposed to have some stretch in it. It is horrible. So I did go and buy... You know what? I'm supposed to do this in, like, segments. 
um, like this little bit, and somehow I just don't get that. I'll talk to you about the sewing bits later. Let me just finish about with the knitting stuff. So I was just at FO. Let's go to whip. Right. So <clears throat> when I ripped that one, the um when I ripped the sleeves out, I took the yarn that was left. This is the sleeve. It's a piece of fabric from the sleeve. And I just randomly started knitting this. So it's just in the round. I was thinking, well, it will either be, uh, you can see there's like a cable thingy right there. I did a couple of cables just to give it a bit of interest, really. Um... I was thinking of making a cowl that will sort of go with that and I realize now I will not have enough yarn for a cowl at all. I don't think so. I mean, I could be wrong. I'll only really know once I start running out of yarn. But if this won't be a cowl, then it will be an ear warmer. Or an egg warmer or a warmer of some sort that will fit with go with the sweater the two uh, projects that I'm really excited about and also really nervous about are these two these are two patterns by Caitlin Hunter of Boyland Networks I'm just doing my TV for it's called I love these patterns they are really beautiful. One is called Lindoro. If you guys, it's printed in black and white. Just go. I'll put down the links below. This is a cowl. This is how far <laughs> I have managed to come with it. It is a cast on of. 288 stitches which I have to say is very new to me uh, I've worked with these I'm, I'm working on my Chiago 2.75 needles um, and then I'm gonna switch over to the 3. I think it's 3.5 millimeter needles Here's the thing though, that the times that I've cast on with these needles and this yarn, which is also mine, it's like little bits and bobs that I have left in colors. This one and this one. It is a color work. This thing. I thought they looked really nice together. It is a, a two color color work pattern. And as you can see over here, it just starts with the ribbing and then it goes into lace. And then it's a stretchy bit and another bit of lace and then it's the color work on that side. I don't know if you can, can see this. Yeah, here's the color work. Um, I decided to do this pattern of Caitlin Hunter before I started the other one that I will show you just to make sure that I understand the way she writes the pattern I have to say the way she writes a pattern really makes sense <laughs> sometimes the patterns that are the written patterns just don't make sense to me at all so I'm, I'm really excited about it on the one hand on the other hand I find it extremely fiddly to work with that thickness of yarn on those needles with that that amount of work to do on it. Um, I'm used to knitting socks with this, not so much. Uh, Two 
cost on cow. But I'm nearly done with the ribbing, and I think if I get just past just get past the ribbing, I'll be fine. Then the, the one after that, but I think this is going to be the third one. I'll talk to you about the other one in a minute. Is this pattern. I am so... I can't wait to start with this. The reason why I haven't started yet is I have never done a top down sweater before. So, Bronwyn from... Knit Shop Love sent me a free pattern. Uh, I think it's called uh, Alex Alex pattern. I don't know, but I'll put the link down below as well. I'll find the pattern and I'll put the link down, which is a free pattern. If I'm not mistaken. Top down pattern with a double knit. Now this pattern calls for single ply or very light fingering weight. Guys, it's winter. I want to do this so much. I really do. It's winter. It's going to be a cold one. And I don't think fingering weight is going to work for me here. Or lace at all. So what I'm thinking of doing is making the Alex one first. So I can just sort of get the hang of it. And take the... The amount of um, stitches that I have to cast on there and just keep that in mind with this one and this one in DK as well because my DK is not that heavyweight as I know a lot of people's idea of DK is um, so now let's see how that goes. I, I think to play it safe, I will do the Alex one first. I hate playing it safe. Anyway, so that is my projects in my whips and my projects that I'm lining up. T. Um. I have quite a few other ideas running around, like um, the Jessica Jones cowl and that sort of thing. But I've got my mind set on this one, so I'm going to stick to this one first. Okay. Shop talk, because I really don't have a lot of time left. I will be adding yarn to my shop to this evening or tomorrow. Uh, these are the new colors that will be on there. Um, I haven't decided on names for all of them. So I'd rather not do that right now. But I will do, what I will do is I will put their names in the shop. So I've got this one on sock weight. I hope you can see it. I know it has not been tidied up yet. Okay, so it's like a grayish green with these copper speckles and dark brown speckles in between. If I'm not mistaken, I... If I'm not mistaken, this one was something about stormy weather. Um... This one, rainy days and Mondays. If nobody knows what which song that is, it's a, a song of the Carpenters. That's quite an old song. <laughs> you can just look it up on YouTube. Carpenters, rainy days and Mondays. Okay, there. This one I haven't got a name for yet, but I know I'll figure it out. Because I actually really like this one. <laughs> See, it's just got these little turquoisey, tealy colors in between with the yellowy. I love this color. 
it's difficult when you start dyeing up colors and you actually like them so much that you don't want to sell them so yeah and then there's this one it's just blue with like a very dark brown speckle okay so these are all on my sock weight base um there's still a couple more. These are all 100 grams. Then I've got this one. Not sure what to call it yet. In 50 grams. They will all be in 50 grams. It's also sock wet. And this one. And this one. That has been sold and will not go into the shop. But if you look carefully, you will see that they actually go very nicely together. You see? They were available in double knits, but the double knits are out. <coughs> oh, sorry. Uh, the only double knit that I will have available in the shop now is this orange. Which I haven't given a name either. It's bad. You know, um... I found that dying on order, although I know that it's a good thing, it's not a bad thing. Okay, so there it is, orange. Um, it does mess around with my creativity a bit. So I will die up on order, but I don't think I will do that on a permanent basis. I as I say, it messes with my creativity. I found that after, because I, I had two quite large order, orders to die on order. And after that, I really struggled to just get back on track. To get on some form of track that would just be me again. Um... Yeah, that's that's interesting. I've I knew that about art. I knew that about painting. Once you do a commissioned work, it's kind of a, a bit of a weird mind shift to get back to doing your normal paintings and your normal style. Um, but I didn't think it would be that way with dyeing yarn. But apparently, it is. This little beauty, I will roll up. Very lightly because it is not for sale. <laughs> it is so mine. It's going to go with some darker purples that I have. And let me just say this very clearly. I don't even like purple. <laughs> I'm not a purpley pinky person. But this color absolutely stole my heart. And, and it was dyed on... Ach, nee, let me just roll this down properly. It was rolled, ach, dyed with cabbage. Purple cabbage. Or in South Africa, we actually call it red cabbage, not purple cabbage. But it comes to the same. It's the cabbage that's like purpley red. Um, and I am, that's the other bit of news that I do have, on a mission about natural dyes. I did ask the people that supply me with yarn my yarn the irony is that honestly we in south from south africa south africa supplies to madeline tosh but i can't find um non-superwash yarn i hope to find non-superwash yarn to use natural dyes on but i can't so I am going to do natural uh, a series um, on the side of natural dyes but you can just watch this space okay the shop update will be probably tonight but it will be available by tomorrow at the very latest and I have 10 minutes left so I have nothing else to share so yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. 
um, and everybody's doing healthy and well and if you live in South Africa keep warm <laughs> um, yeah and that will be that I hope, I hope you enjoyed the podcast and that you will return please leave comments down below nice ones don't be horrible with me please <laughs> um, and like and subscribe so that I can get to the place where I can actually do like an hour long video if you if anybody watching this can give me some advice on that please do okay thanks a lot bye